Hey guys, welcome to the lab. Uh, episode 5 of Leon in the Lab goes right now. Um, shout out to each and every one of you guys um, who's taking their time out of their day to enjoy this content. I have a lot of fun doing this. Um, time's going by really, really fast. I can't believe we're on episode 5 already, but you know, shout out to each and every one of you guys um, that takes time to, to watch this content. Um, episode 5 is going to be a special one. Um, I have Calby in the house today. Um, basically, um, I did a, a podcast with him a couple weeks ago. It's called Traffic Boys. Him, Chris, Q, and Potato, a.k.a. Maya, um, have a, a weekly show. And uh, I was able to join them for one of their Monday um, episodes. I had a lot of fun. Um, Calby's the first of the group to uh, jump on board and um, do my show. So shout out to Calby for that. Um, hopefully we'll get the rest of the members on the show very, very soon to um, design something. But, you know, for now, um, we're going to focus on Calby. So Calby is a uh, really, really um, big fan of Ron Ronnie. I guess he's kind of known for being like a Ronnie Feig uh, super fan. Um, we'll talk a little bit um, to him about how that came about. Um, he's also um, helping me a lot with photography. So anything that you see... A release with me and Pro Image Sports Colorado, you're going to see Calby's work um, in that. So really, really excited to have him on board. He's a really cool and down-to-earth guy, and I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. We ended up mocking up four hats, um, but to keep this episode shorter, we're only going to show you three. So hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. Um, but yeah, episode five. I'll be back later. All right. Welcome to the lab. Um, we have a very special guest in the house today. Calby, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Good, good, good. Um, Calby, we, uh, um, we're kind of doing the reverse right now. So I spent a little bit of time on your podcast, Traffic Boys. Um, you're also involved with another podcast, the Sneaker Podcast. Um, so now um, you're kind of returning me the favor and, and coming on my show. So I appreciate your time today. Yo, I'm really excited, man. I'm stoked to be here. So thank you very much. No problem. So uh, tell the viewers, for those who don't know, um, a little bit about your experience in podcasting. Um, you're part of the Traffic Boys, and you also do um, the Sneaker Podcast, which is um, audio and video. So t tell everyone about those two things. Sure, yeah. So uh, the Sneaker Podcast has been around for a while. I wasn't uh, on it at first. It was being recorded out in Montreal and um they were doing it live like together and then uh one of the guys moved out to toronto and uh so they started doing it on zoom and while that was happening over the pandemic when we all had time and stuff by our computer uh chris from the sneaker podcast me and him talk about sneakers all day long uh with another buddy alvin uh out in toronto and uh he was like, yo, do you, do you guys want to do another podcast? Like we have, we, we always talk about stuff anyways. And we decided we'd do it. And traffic boys is a little different because we kind of worked it into, uh, we do a bit of food and like what's on TV and stuff like that. Cause we didn't want it to just be another sneaker podcast. Um, and then from there, um, with one of the guys from the sneaker podcast, Mike moving out to Toronto and like the schedules of everybody with family and everything like that. Uh, they moved it to uh, Zoom, and then there was also, uh, like, conflicts with schedules and stuff like that, and people were missing. So Chris just hollered at me and was, like, asked if I wanted a seat on the Sneaker Podcast as well. And, I mean, it was one of the only podcast Sneaker Podcasts, I listened to. So I was like, yeah, for sure. Let's do it. And, uh, yeah, it's been going good ever since. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Um, now that I'm kind of trying to branch out a little bit more and, and get other people um in the periphery that may not be uh, too, too involved with fitted. Um, I kind of view like sneaker collectors and sneaker podcasts as um, something that's kind of similar, um, but not um, at the same time. So hopefully, um, you know, you'll get welcomed in uh, to the fitted community in, in, in open arms. But uh, one thing I noticed and that kind of sticks out and it was a little bit of a topic in uh, one of our previous shows with the camp out is I noticed that it seems like sneakerheads um, take better pictures. Um, <laughs> I don't know yeah. if I'm going out on a limb by saying that. I don't know if I'm going to offend anyone by saying that, but, um, 
yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. What got you started um, in sneaker photography? It, it was actually Instagram, to be honest. I, okay. uh, this is way back. I don't, I don't even know, remember the year. I guess probably somewhere around 2011 or something like that. Um, and uh, I was on Twitter, which I was no good at. I don't do social media at all. Like I've never had a Facebook. Instagram is the only thing I have. And uh, I had Twitter for, for a minute there that I sucked at. And uh, I was following Bun B and Bun B was posting a bunch of pictures on, on his Twitter from like that gumball race or whatever they do. And people kept asking because he was throwing filters on them. And people were asking like, yo, you're a professional photographer now? Like, when did you learn how to take photos? And he was like, no, it's just with my phone, man. It's on an app called Instagram. So I downloaded it and uh, I just started shooting sneakers. And I had no idea other people were doing that. I was just doing it with like my old iPhone, like iPhone 3G or something like that. And uh, yeah, and since that was just, I was like, I wanted to make art with sneakers and I kept doing it. And from there, it's like, I, I wanted to get my pictures better. I saw other people taking photos and their pictures were looking good. And like some people started getting a camera. So I got myself a little like entry level DSLR and started shooting. And it's just fun, man. It's just, uh, it's it's an out it's an out, outlet for, for artistic view. And it's something I love in sneakers. And I'm also like, like I'm addicted to looking at my shoes. So <laughs> it helps me that like when I get a new pair of shoes, I, I take, try to take the best photo I can. And then I can put the, put the shoes away and just look at my phone and look at the picture. So, yeah, I mean, if you, if you see the, if you see the picture on, on my page, then I've looked at it at least 50 times. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I use, uh, I use Instagram kind of as a way to document my purchases. So like in a rush, if I'm like, fuck, do I own that hat? Let me check Instagram real quick. So I kind of have a way to um, to kind of index um, some, of, some of my hats. So I'm able to search by brand and color and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a, it's kind of a way to um, kind of document what you have. So um, sometimes in a pinch, you, you know how it is. If you hesitate, it might sell out on you. So um, yeah, you got to sure. know quick. Um, speaking of uh, early Instagram, I, 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 I'm remembering like, it's 2011. The original uh, filters that they have are, are like forever goaded. So we had like the ones with the, yeah. the black edges and then the ones that made it look older, black and white, obviously. But yeah, the original yeah. set of filters will always uh, live in infamy. Um, yeah, the For young sure. kids will like know the, nothing about the that. colors bleeding from the corners and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 yeah. The, the different ways you can distort. Um, the photo and stuff like that but yeah everyone thought they were like an amateur artist back then and it, you know yeah, cool for it, was, sure. it, it was a cool uh cool app it kind of took over because um it was like twitter with pictures basically right so yeah yeah it, it, exactly. it got to show the day-to-day -day, um of everyone's lives um but yeah um so you um took that love of photography and you made your own uh kith books as i understand so you went and took um, pictures of your kith shoe collection um what made you do that so that was actually uh i was taking a break from instagram i okay. uh yeah i just didn't want to be on it for a while i wanted to chill out um i had i was in a relationship at the time or whatever that uh wanted to pause the instagram and focus on that but i still wanted to be able to like take pictures and stuff in my free time and uh without having to like check a message or something, you know what I mean? Wondering who's messaging me or liking a picture. So I, uh, so I put a pause on my Instagram and I just started taking pictures. I was like, what can I do? I found this little app, um, that you could make a book. So I was like, yo, I'm going to make a book with all, with all my kids, uh, my kids shoes in it. And I'll take three shots of each shoe. One, uh, just like a regular uh, product shot, then like a detail shot. And then, then an on foot shot. And I'd write, the release date, um, the name of the shoe. And then I'd have a whole like little paragraph just about all the information I could find out about the shoe, the stories behind it, the materials involved in making it and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. I, I only really made, I only made three copies. Um, I could still, I guess, make more if I ever wanted to, but it wasn't, it wasn't cheap to be honest. Uh, people were like, Hey, I'll buy one. And then I'm like, yeah, well, <laughs> this is going to cost you like 60 bucks. Man. And like, by the time, <laughs> I'm gonna ship it out to you. I don't know if I want to charge you that, but uh, so uh, I gave I gave one to Chris, like, cause that that's he's my big homie, 
And then uh, I actually took one and I, I left it on the shelf in Kith LA. And I don't know what okay. ever happened to it. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully so, got into the right hands. You never know. But yeah. Did you put your contact information on it though? It would I I think I put my Instagram. I'm pretty sure I'd have to check the back page. I think it's on the back page. I think I put my Instagram handle and that was it. I like someone could have just picked it up and saw it and been like, what is this? And threw it out. Like, I don't know what happened to it. I hope it didn't get thrown out, but um, yeah, I, I have no idea what happened to it. I, I took a poll. I took a poll on Instagram. I was like, should, should I go gorilla style and leave this on the shelf and <laughs> kith or what should I do with it? Cause uh, I was like, should I just mail it to one of the stores and hope that Ronnie gets it or whatever? And uh it turned out everybody's like, yeah, leave it on the shelf. And then I was like, all right, cool. So I did. I, I took a little tiny video of it and took a photo of where it was. That's funny. And that was it. Yeah. That's funny. So ho hopefully with uh, with some of our joint connections, we can get it in his hands eventually. But um, for now, um, you came here to design some hats. So the first one, um, I'll pull it up here for us. We're going to do this one. And you yeah. took the picture for this one. This is a pretty damn good picture. So tell me about this shoe and what it means to you. So in, in that picture, so the Salmon Toe is like one of my very favorite shoes. The Salmon Toe Gel Light 3, uh, the OG one is like basically my favorite shoe. Um, it's uh, kind of what got me all into this. Um, Ron, I saw a picture of the Salvage Denim, Googled Ronnie's name, and the Salmon Toe came up. And ever since then, I was like, this is it. So in this photo you see here, that's the Salmon Toe Gel Light 3 2.0 and uh, the Salmon Light Gel Light 5 uh, for the 10-year anniversary. So it's been, I think, every five years, Ronnie's been releasing a rendition of it. And uh, yeah, I, that's just, that's my shoe, man. <laughs> like the 2.0, that 2.0, it doesn't, it doesn't get much wear. I, I, uh, I leave it, I, I leave it in the box quite a lot just to make sure. And uh, I'm hoping on... Uh, wearing the gel i5 a lot because uh, it's a lot lower in price on resale markets so if anything happens i could get another one yeah it's a nice shoe i know nothing about new balances other than um that they're super comfortable but that that one's actually oh, no, this is a6. <laughs> so i know even less i know even less about a6 than i do about new balances um yeah but i, I mean it's Bruce the same Lee warm thing. ones maybe yeah the hour that was it was either that or an onisuka tiger but same brand same brand <clears throat> just a different name um the uh the 2.0 there is actually made in japan so that's a uh, kind of special about it because it's a it's a higher tier of uh, asics being made out there in japan fair enough all right so the one thing that's going to be hard to replicate is going to be that that salmon kind of pink so i think we can already eliminate these two these two pinks because it's that's not close, right? So these yeah, these that's like go. pink, pink. Yeah. yeah. So then we have here, we have the peach, and then the I think the blush sky. Which one do you think, um, you want to use? Uh, I mean, I think the peach is pretty close, but I think the blush sky because if the two shoes you see right now posted on there is uh. The Gel Light 5 is a little bit more peachier, and then mm -hmm. the Gel Light 3 is a little bit more pinkish. Yeah. So I think the, the the blush one is a good mix of the two. It doesn't lean heavy either way. So, like, if I wanted to rock it with either pair, it would uh, it would go with them both. All right. So we're going to eliminate the, pe the peach. And then in terms of the blue, so in hat terms and, and, and shoe terms, you can't just say blue. So there's a lot of options yeah, here for yeah. you. Uh, do you see anything here? You I want think... a straight navy? Hold on. Is it? Hold on. Let me zoom in. Because this might not be big enough. I think that night shift navy might, might be the one. I okay. think that looks pretty nice to me. Cause it's dark, but it's still, uh, it's still mm -hmm. got the blue to it. Yep. So I like that. Like, yeah. Perfect. Are we gonna need to pull like the blue from the the inner lining or or this blue? Um, I I don't think so. Um, no? I think okay. that's probably probably the one. All right. 
And then uh, will we need to pull uh, any type of gray or off white or anything like that? Um, I'd like I'd like white, some white mm -hmm. in it. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be where it'd be. Like it might just be stitching kind of thing. Yeah, um, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. And what were you thinking about for teams? Uh, I want I want to do uh the Mets for this one. Okay. The yeah <coughs> the New York Mets. That's easy. So the Mets have a. Uh, the interlocking logo and the script. Also, they got the ball with a bunch of stuff in it. You have a preference? I, I was thinking the interlocking logo. Um, okay. I saw I saw one with with the script. I didn't mind, but I, I think I think the interlocking logo is probably the one I want to do. All right. What 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 would you say as as a hack guy? You see the script a lot, or um, like... I see it enough. So for. For the script, they have the main one that usually everyone sees. It looks something like this. Oops, it's small, but it looks something like this. All right, that okay. one's been done to death. But if you okay. want something to scream, if you want something to scream like New York, there's this one that's becoming a little bit more popular. It's kind of shows up small on the hat, though. To be honest, does it? Yeah. Yeah. But if you want something like, like really New York, then yeah, we can we can keep it to, to the, um, the interlocking logo. Uh, do you yeah. know if you like the outline or, or the mono color? I, I like the for for the logo. I like I like the the mono color. The, that's the only reason I was actually thinking about the script is because I was thinking that it could have the outline and look all right. But mm -hmm. I think, you know, it's very like that's a that's a great logo. Like. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think we should go with the logo. Yeah, and and uh, I don't I don't think it needs an outline. Yeah, we were. Um, there's always like this this uh, kind of thinking that uh, baseball hats do well because it doesn't matter if you're a fan or not. Most of the logos are based on the location. So whether you yeah. like the Mets or don't like the Mets or whatever, you look at this logo and it screams um, New York to you. Right, the Yankee yeah. logo a little bit more, but this one, like if you know anything about it, like the reps kind of represent Queens and and whatever. And New York is so huge, but um, a lot of the other logos, like LA, you know, it, it it puts the city first for the most part. Most of the logos rep the city more, so that's yeah. kind of why there's like universal appeal in the fashion world usually. Um, for and sure. then for like even, yeah, go ahead. even for me when when like growing up. Uh, I'd rock a Yankees hat, and it had nothing to do with the baseball team. It was because all my favorite rappers wore Yankees yeah. hats. Yeah, Jay Z, Jay Z <laughs> wore the shit out of that hat. Yeah, um, Fifty weird. Cent. Um, yeah, but yeah. Uh, and then for the patch, you were thinking of the two thousand, right? Two thousand World Series. Yeah. Uh, well, I was actually thinking the Subway Series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, that's two thousand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. All right. So. I like that. We got that. All right, so let's color this bad boy. What were you thinking? Uh, I'd like the the crown to be the the navy. What is that? Midnight navy. We thought it was right. Is mm -hmm. that what it was called? Yep. Yeah. Mid Midnight nice. navy uh, for the crown. Crown. Uh, all right, and then the visor. And that pink. The visor. Yes, please. Yeah. All right. And what are you thinking about the button? Um. Let's can can we go with the pink as well? Let's let's do yeah, that. Yeah, do pink. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So we'll color these blue in case someone complains. Because normally I do tonal buttons, but last time I didn't color it, and people were like, "Oh, the buttons are black. I can't buy the hat." Relax. Relax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then for the front logo, what color? White. I'd like right. it to just be yeah. a clean white. That's going to look good. If it were be, going to behave. Let's color this white. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, I like it already. I like it already. 
we get the scale. And then the patch, are we doing anything to it? I, I'd like to keep it OG. Uh, yeah. Do you, you got any thoughts on that? I, I thought it would be nice to keep it like the original way that it came. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I like stuff when it's not touched. The original pink bottoms that Hat Club did um, all had regular team colors and the patches were untouched. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. I like that. I don't mind it when the the patches are are kind of how how they come, um, and, and and I don't mind popping in a bit of color. I'm I'm okay either way, but if you like yeah. it, OG, we could do it like that. I've I've seen I've seen them colored up real nice and stuff, but I just I think the OG just kind of you know it gives it a little extra like <laughs> yeah pop yeah. to it or whatever. Yeah, I'll quote that. All right, um, so let's put this into a four view. And we have our first uh, fast forward of the evening. Hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Um, Kobe was a cool guest. And uh, yeah, um, we're going to continue to make some cool stuff. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And then for the, the bottom, what color do you want? Gray? Gray, please, yeah. Yeah, that's easy. It's a, a double works. Keep it clean and simple, but also uh, the 2.0 has a gray outsole on it. Perfect. Do you have a preference on the sweatband, white or black? I, I like black. Just uh, I think white would probably look cleaner, but white mm -hmm. just gets dirty so so yeah. easily. Man. Yeah. If this is something you want to wear often, do not get yeah. white. Do not get white. I don't wear my hats enough for them to get dirty enough, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just like some sometimes I'll go for like a long walk with the with my friends and stuff. We'll we'll go uh on like a foot pub crawl or we'll grab some scooters and we'll just hit hit a bunch of different places to go grab a bite and a drink and yeah. That could sometimes take hours and then you get home and you take off your hat and you're like, "Oh no, like one day." Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like white shoes, man. Yeah, exactly. I don't own many of those either. <laughs> yeah, the same. I feel like most of my sixes are white, though. Oh, yeah. All right. And in terms of the batterman, do you have a preference? Flat, raised? I, I was thinking a flat one. All right. Just and to, how are we going to uh, color this? Maybe, maybe turn that uh turn that red hit to uh the same like pinkish what is that blush we called it right or they mm -hmm. called it blush like blush star yeah and then this and then the I mean, maybe yeah boom all right done what do you what do you think that looks good yeah i like it yeah. i like, I like that it. <laughs> I, i'm excited to see what you do with the uh I'm excited to see what you do with the photography for this. Yo, so am I. <laughs> yeah. well, it'll definitely like, it'll definitely be going through my mind, like until it's actually in my hand. And by then I hope to have an idea. One done, screenshot it. I'll send that to you later. Um, let's talk about hat two. So, what are we doing? Um, what are we doing for hat two? So, on the ten year anniversary when they re released the uh, the salmon toe and the gel light five, they also re released the uh, the leather back, which was another famous gel light three that Ronnie did, and. Uh, they put it out kind of as a pack. So I was thinking we could do uh, a pack with that and make, make that one a Yankees. I like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, we're into another fast forward. Um, right now we're just color matching the shoe. 
Um, there was a bunch of different kind of blues and uh, teals and um, different colors we want to make sure that we captured along with the blacks and the different grays and the new buck and suede. All right, so tell me a little bit about this shoe. Why is this uh, important to you? So it came out in a, in a Gel Light 3 version, just like the, the past shoes we were talking about. And then for the 10th anniversary, he released this Gel Light 5 rendition. And the Gel Light 3 is a beautiful shoe, but the resale price is just through the roof. So there's no way I was ever going to be able to get it. And the thing was, when... Uh, when Ronnie was releasing these, he held these Zoom meetings that if you had an original version of either of these shoes or the 2.0, you could join the Zoom meeting and and talk to him and everything like that. And so I went through that because I had the 2.0s and it was awesome. And then uh, he actually said, since you guys were in this meeting, you guys get early access to both pairs. Oh, fire. So, so yeah, so we didn't have to, didn't have to try for it. And I was actually like, holy, like I'm able to get this shoe. And as, uh, as iconic and amazing as the gel light three is, I also really like the gel light five a lot. So to be able to get this shoe, even though it wasn't in its original form, but have it in the collection and on a shoe that I really, really love and appreciate. I, uh, it's, it's awesome. And and with the leather and the dark colors, it's uh, it's easier to wear <laughs> than than uh than the salmon one is as well. Um just you don't have to be as careful. <laughs> yeah. Is the back the the back of the shoe that's black, right? Yes. Or yeah. Is it a dark, so it's dark all, gray? No, it's it's black. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. black. The only gray is the toe and then uh there's the blue, the blue hits on the the uh, form stripes and the outsole. All right, cool. And uh, you said Yankees. So what were you thinking about yeah, that? Sure. Regular so I had NY to... logo. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Uh, so basically, the one that would uh, go with the the Mets logo kind of mm -hmm. thing, like uh, at the same time period. Yep. But I was yeah. thinking of two things I wanted to maybe try because uh, I wanted to do the crown black. And I was thinking about if we could do a black Yankees with that blue outline around it and mm -hmm. see how that looked. Yeah, definitely. Kind of emulating the stripes there on the side. I believe that's like their uh, BP logo. <clears throat> so we can do that. So I'll add in the... I'll add in the... Uh, outline after and then which are we doing the same patch to match yeah sure please yeah i um you know i'm not i'm not a uh, i'm not as versed in uh the hat <laughs> culture I'm, I'm just getting into that i've always i've always loved hats but i'm more more looking into the culture now um no that's cool but with with sneakers kind of thing uh adding that those patches being the same patch to me puts it together as a pack that's kind yeah, of makes like it a pack. The idea i have yeah so yeah. uh that's why i'd like to keep keep the logos the same that's why i wanted them to be in the original coloring as well so that they both didn't match the hat but they matched each other i'm cool with that cool <clears throat> and you said you wanted the um uh, the hat the crown to be black to be black yeah, yeah. Right, let's do it. So let's get the color in. Yeah, as I just messed up my my toolbar. All right, black. You want to put a little color pop at the top? You look at all of that. A little, uh, little color, color pop at yeah. the top. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, I was gonna say, can can we do the uh, the visor in the gray? Would oh, that yeah. work? Yeah, darkest yeah. gray. Yeah, yeah, we can. A little uh, sneaky two tone.
Would that work? Am I break? Am I breaking any rules or anything? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is uh, this is as you like it. Well, I just, you know what I mean. I want to, as as much as I want the hat to be my own, I also want to respect, you know, the culture and uh, mm-hmm. the enthusiast's opinion. So, <clears throat> there's one thing though, if the grays aren't different enough some people might have an issue with it so you might want to go what what if i hit the blue on the underbroom you can hit the blue you can definitely hit it with blue you can hit it with the blue no problem because i was going to say if you put if you put gray on the bottom like the gray with the light gray it might not look different enough and people might yeah might take issue with it but the blue is perfect This is hella cool to watch, man. So <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I've done this many, many, many times. You still enjoy it? Yeah. That's awesome. I like the pro- I like the process. Like I like being able to create something digitally or on paper or whatever. Have an idea and then have it show up. Yeah, for sure. And then this, I, I wish yeah. I could do something like that. Like I wish, I, as much as I love taking photos, it's sort of the same. I get the idea in my head and I go take the picture. Mm-hmm. But being able to do something like this is very cool to me. Yeah, I got. I kind of fell into it. <clears throat> I uh, I started doing this for like my softball team. And, okay. And we ended up. Um, I ended up being the coach of one of my work softball teams and we had had uh, like a new era um, like account so basically the company I work for the uh, they, they used to print like their company stuff on like regular clothing like we could have like jackets polos whatever and they had a baseball team and New Era had sent them the wrong color. So instead of like royal blue, they sent them navy blue. So they had a bunch of hats for the baseball team. And they got a credit for them. So they were going to just trash them. And so instead they gave it to gave it to us, the Canadian baseball team. So then um, the coach ended up leaving. And I ended up assuming the coaching duties. So we had the leftover hats. So then I just hit up New Era um, in the team department and i was like hey i'm the coach of the canadian um team this is our old hat are you guys you know can i order a new one for this year and be like yeah I'm like, oh okay cool so then i i started making the hats for the team and then i would post them online and people would hit me up like wanting to buy them i was like Wait, oh, you want nice. you want to buy my like my random like wednesday night markham baseball <laughs> League hat, <laughs> yeah, and they're like, Yeah, we do. I'm like, Okay, cool. <laughs> and then, yeah, one thing led to another. I started creating jerseys, hats, um, and, and everything, and yeah, the rest is history. So that's kind of how I got started. I never knew you could make them like that, like, because I've been, I've always been buying hats, I, I just didn't know you could have yeah. your own. I was like, So once you get that bug, yeah, and and you, you start figuring out, like. Like you can make stuff. It's like, yo, it's it's different. No doubt. Yeah, but uh, how are we gonna do this batterman here? That one, that one, I haven't fully thought of yet. So that's that's the one part that, like, I don't know. I was thinking the batterman would either be the gray or the blue. Okay. Um, and then like vice versa with the colors on the inside. I was mm-hmm. gonna keep it all the same, the same three colors: the black, the gray, or the blue. Okay, um, so we I'll show you two ways. So one way you could do it is you can blue out both sides and then add black because there's so much black in the hat. So yeah. that would look pretty cool. The other way to do it would be the blue, the gray here, the blue here, and then black. 
Hmm. Here, I think I'll, I... I'll, I'll, cut, I'll put them both beside each other so you can see. All right, cool. So the other way was black and blue. <clears throat> That's more of like a, a little bit more plain. And then the other one is it's blacked out instead of blue. It's kind of reversed with yeah. a little bit of gray. Yeah. I think I might like this one with the blue and black. This one? Yeah. All right. So one thing I'll let you know. <laughs> people from New York. Yeah. I mean, we're not people from New York, so it don't matter to me. But people from New York don't generally like the outlines New York. But in for these this case, I don't care. Okay, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if, if I don't, we, like, if this is how you like it, that's how you like it. But if if in the future, or if you like sit and think about it, the other option would be to just do this. So that, that's kind that of more was, boring to me. It doesn't yeah. look like the shoe. So yeah, that's kind of so that was my original idea. I just actually had the the outline idea popped in my head just like maybe yeah. yesterday. Okay. And then I was like, it looks more like the shoe. Like, so I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's what I noticed too, because the 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 logos on the shoe, it's ASICs, right? So it looks yeah. like it's it's like that. So I would keep it like this if you want to um, maintain a closer thing to the shoe. Um, yeah, I like yeah, that. You. I mean, New York is if, if New York hates me, then that sucks. But they're rude no, no. out there too, man. So I just gotta step up my uh, my jab backs, you know. <laughs> they're, not, they're not gonna hit you. They're not gonna hit you. All right. So that's uh, hat two wrapped. Um, what are we doing for hat three? Um, do you, do you want a shoe? Should we do another shoe? I got a, I got another shoe that I, that I would, yeah, wouldn't yeah. mind trying. D tell me um, about the next shoe. It's, uh, it's the Daytona 1600 New Balance. Okay. So this one I know about. <laughs> this one. I yeah. Know about. Yeah. So this was, this was actually the, uh, the first sneaker purchase I got from Kith, uh, online. It was the first time that I got a W. Uh, on Kith, uh, Kith's online sales, so that's that's kind of where, where the significance comes from for me. Why I'd like to try to do it. Um, yeah, it's got it's got some more colors in it though. Well, uh, <laughs> I, ha I haven't really totally been able to uh, think about how this one's gonna, gonna go down. So it's it's not like the other two where <laughs> the, yeah. that's where all my thought process was was on those two. So. <laughs> Well, this one is um more like red, white, and blue, right? It's uh, it's actually it's like it's like beige, blue, okay. pink. Beige, blue. It's got and like pink. a off. Okay. It's got like a off white. It's got like a a neon, a neon pink, almost neon pink, and uh, a beige and a blue, like a royal blue. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Are we doing the the first one or the second one? So um, this is the one I see the nine nine. Yeah, no, that not that one. No, the the other one. All right, so it's got this... a blue a blue toe. Yes, yes, yes. and skin. It's got some pink hits on it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this. Is that denim or oh, no suede? It's suede. It's a yeah. It's an oily uh, pig suede. That's <laughs> that's me reading all about it and studying it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a crazy suede. All right, another quick uh, fast forward for you guys. We're gonna give you a time lapse version of this. Um, right now we are uh, painstakingly um, color matching all of the different beiges and grays and blues and pinks within the shoe. Hope you guys uh, are liking the video so far. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do you have a team in mind? 
Um, there's that uh, that uh, Mets farm team that has a K logo. Yeah, so Kingsport Mets. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kelby, Kith, and it also it, it seems to have a couple uh, outlines on it, similar yeah. to the way this N is on the New Balance logo. Oh, perfect then. Okay. All right. Perfect. So I was going to ask you one outline or two, but this has two outlines, so we may as well use this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have them. Hold on. I'll show you two. Uh, well, well, this one might work too. Hold on. So this is what the hat looks like. Okay. This has two outlines. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then this is just a, another version. So we could try to find this one too, if you want. That just has the little the little swoops in the corners there. That's that's the big difference that we're looking at. Or so basically, outlines? what are we? <clears throat> so basically, um, this one, it's not two clean outlines. It's one. One outline plus a shadow, <coughs> and then uh, for the the other option would be this one. I I kind of like the outline and then the shadow because that's even okay. kind of how it looks there on the end. You know what I mean? At the back, yes. it looks a little yeah, fatter it. than it is on the front. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. it. If you're good like with it, that. we can we can do that one. And I don't have to go pull it. So, but that thing, this is a <laughs> yeah. perfect. I think this is the perfect one. So, we're going to do, I guess, pink inside, right? Yeah. That's crazy. That pink is crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pink, white. So, the white stays white. And then the orange becomes blue. Like that? Yeah. All right. And how are we going to color color the hat? Would, uh, like, I'd, I'd like to do the, uh, the visor in the navy. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm, I'm not sure if it's too much. If if we did, um, what what do you? I'm not sh exactly sure how so, you how you call it. Like when you do the front panels different than the back yeah. panels. Yeah, so it'll be like a front pa uh, white panel hat, kind of similar to what um, what Maya did with what hat club. So yes, she yeah, had the the camel um, the camel crown with the right front panel, and the the camel visor. She just didn't have a two tone. But you could do something yeah. similar but different. So basically, we would take this, we'd make it there, and then um, probably make this blue. Or you can make it pink, up to you. And then sorry, the for sorry, it cut it cut out for me for a second there. I didn't, oh. I didn't hear what you said. Um, I just so saw for you the put that on the back, and then that was it. Yeah, so we could do the the tan at the back, and in the front you could do white, or you can even do off white if you're scared of it getting dirty. Well, I I actually was gonna ask if we could do it in off white because oh, yeah. even that the middle paneling on the shoe there yeah. is a more of an off white. Yeah. So okay, we'll do uh, chrome as it's professionally called. I call it off white, but yeah, mm. some people call it college white. In the past, I didn't know it was called that, but yeah. It's a beautiful color. <clears throat> no, this is a this is a great looking hat. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'll change this so that people don't complain. <laughs> The only thing with the this logo is I don't know what sh side patches they really have. So this one might have okay. to be just a plain Jane. 
Sure. Is that uh is that, I don't mind. That, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. Uh like minor league cats, I don't mind that they're uh there's no side patch. To me, not everything has to have a side patch. Okay. Yeah. So there I mean, I know, I know I've always liked the side patch, but I don't know any of the significances of it, and I wouldn't really miss it if it wasn't there kind of thing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's just kind yeah. of an added bonus when it does have a cool one. Yeah, for sure. It helps with, like, storytelling and, and uh, adding extra colors because, like, sometimes you could – you could uh, – like kind of make the front plane and then really trick out the patch. Okay. Know? Yeah. So stuff like that. But no, I think it looks great like this. I mean, this one is kind of tricked out without the patch with, yeah, that, with that crazy pink, <laughs> with that crazy exactly. pink K on the front. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. We are back with another time lapse. Um, basically, I'm just coloring the rest of the hat in, and because there's no side patch, we are going to include the New Era flag in the mock-up. Uh, Calby asked to do the flag in that uh, pink glow color. That's fire. That that one might have ended up being becoming my favorite, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you're going to like it, because, yeah, this one's for you. This represents you. Um, the other ones... <clears throat> You know, are more like you know New York, and uh, yeah. But yeah, now that was fun. Yeah, before we log off, where can people find you? Do um, you have anything to promote? Uh, you can find me at Just Calby on Instagram. Uh, check us out on um, all anywhere your podcasts are found. Uh, Traffic Boys or the Sneaker Podcast. And that's that's about it. We're we're on a, a bit of a summer break right now for podcasting, but uh, you can catch up. Feel free to catch up with previous episodes. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> when you guys get back to recording, I definitely got to um, swing back and do do another episode with you guys. That was a lot of fun uh, to kind of hang out and uh, get to know you guys and girl. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much for your time, and uh, hopefully we'll get s something made. Uh, in the future so that we can have you rocking uh, these with uh, uh, some of the shoes you have. Um, we got some stuff we're working on uh, to, get it, to get you to photo uh, photograph some of my stuff. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah. Uh, hopefully people will stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, until next time, we out. All right, there you have it. Episode five in the books. Um, had a lot of fun shooting that. Had a lot of fun um putting stuff together i learned a lot um spending time with calby uh normally i'm a in terms of speaker sneakers i i tend to stick to like jordan's and what he wore uh, on the court but yeah just kind of uh ex expanding uh, my sneaker knowledge was kind of cool learned a lot about asics and new balance and uh kith and ronnie Fag. so shout out to calby for doing that um it was really cool hope to get him on the show um, back soon and, and some of his other uh, podcast mates uh, on the show as well but yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode I had a lot of fun uh, filming it and uh, putting it together for you guys but yeah make sure you guys are uh, dropping a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and yeah until next time I'm out peace <laughs>